It's uh, Jordan with Cal Bassin uh, up here in my room. Yeah, I know you like that uh, that background, but uh, focus up over here. So today I'm going to uh, display my soft plastics. Uh, there are so many soft plastic at plastics, and I have so many soft plastics. But uh, today I'm just gonna show you what works for me in uh, no matter what conditions clear water dirty water stained water muddy water stuff like that so uh yeah let's uh get into it uh i'm a big believer in zoom and uh this is the brush hog in watermelon red flake uh this is the eight pack i've caught giants on these uh it's about, I want to say, like six, seven inches. Uh, nice color. A little translucent. You could see a little bit through it, uh, which makes it perfect for uh, clear water. But the, the, the nice dark uh, green with the red flake also makes it good for sunny in stained water, sunny days in stained water. Uh, I just Texas rigged this bait through the head, blah, 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 you know the rest. Uh, yeah, soft plastics. Zoom. Another one I got here is the Zoom Watermelon Red again, finesse worm. Uh, the other, yes, just yesterday actually, I caught a three pound bass large mouth on these but got one on a shaky head it's a nice fluid bait uh again i just texas rig shaky rig uh wacky rig weightless or a drop shot rig just to feel the bottom and you know play with it on the bottom uh, smells like plastic. <laughs> There's no scent on these. But again, that red flake, great on sunny days. You could toss this anywhere. It's a good durable bait. I really believe in these finesse worms. Uh, right here I have the uh, Zoom uh, super salt split tail trailer it's chartreuse and glitter I usually use these on jigs you know small finesse jigs and stuff for some reason the uh, chartreuse man it just they just love this for some reason the twin tails have an awesome action when you swim the jig or you know like uh, 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 drag it along the bottom the tails just so much action I have a whole bunch of these unfortunately these uh, for me at least these tails tend to uh, the fish tend to bite them off a lot but uh, still it's worth it caught so many on these last Last Zoom product, I have the Baby Brush Hog in just the watermelon seed, no red flake. This is a smaller, I want to say four inch bait. It's great uh, if you just cut it like right here and leave these, uh, these little appendages on still as a green, I mean as a, a jig trailer. Just cut the, the head off up to the uh, the first little appendage right here and the action works perfect. But there's a right and a wrong way to uh, rig these baits. Uh, as you can see on these little appendages, uh, when you drag it along your finger like this, one side tends to open these little flaps. And if you're on this side, it tends to close the baits. So you want to rig it where 
it opens. All you have to do is just drag your finger on it. And uh, yeah, these twin tails too, man. They a lot of action. I either uh, Texas rig this with a bullet weight, uh, uh, throw them into the toolies, uh, grass, uh, drag it along the bottom, or I even do weightless. Works good too. Uh, the famous Gary Yamamoto Senko. I've caught some great bass on these. I love the thickness. I usually use these for uh, if I know there's bigger there's bigger bass in the lake or place that I'm fishing. I just usually wacky rig this on the drop shot. Works perfect. It's again green pumpkin, black with little black flakes in it. Uh, perfect for drop shotting and some just weightless wacky worms this works perfect too wacky rigging my bad five inches too last but not least my favorite bait of all you this is the most versatile soft plastic in my opinion it's uh, the rodent the KVD perfect plastics with coffee scent uh, rodent Damn, the the smell, just the smell of these baits make me want to go make a cup of coffee. Like, like I do not understand how they did this, but just comes soft, soft material. This is a uh, California Craw. It's a green pumpkin with red flake on the bottom side, and a black with red flake on the top side uh, these these little uh, appendages right here it could imitate a bluegill could imitate a uh, um, a crawfish what I like to do when I'm doing uh, like a bluegill I like this I like to uh, more of a bait fish type of presentation I like to keep these little um, keep these little uh, little the bait has a little keeper on these, a little plastic keeper on these little appendages so that they don't come up apart. So I like to keep it that way when I'm imitating a bait fish and split them apart when I'm doing a crawdad or crawfish. And this, this is just perfect with the salt and the, and the coffee scent. Man, you could fish these on anything too. I've tried them on every single rig that you could think of. I put them on a jig trailer. I just either cut a little bit off, put it, hook that, sh hook that up on a, a jig trailer. Uh, I Texas rig it with a weight. I actually have that set up right here with a punch skirt. Works even better. Flip it, uh, pitch it, uh, punch it. You could do anything. I've even tried uh, wacky rigging it, uh, like right here, and for like it just works it work like if you throw this bait you will catch a fish so feels so soft the only thing about these is that it will last you about I've done like the most five fish on it uh, the the probably the average is three fish on these like these will come like these little appendages will come off it'll just get torn up Especially if you're using a big uh, hook, and you keep having to keep having to uh, reapply the bait. But yeah, the KVD Perfect Plastics with coffee scent and salt, the rodent. I recommend these for every fisherman. I don't know where I'd be without these. I always take these out on the water. So yeah. These are uh, all my soft plastics. Well, not all of them. I have hundreds of soft plastics, but uh, these are the six or seven, no, actually nine baits that I always have to have with me no matter what. Uh, these have caught me fish consistently throughout the seasons. You know, winter, you just slow roll them all. Or wacky rig or uh, uh, right now in the spring all of these will work no matter what uh, the fall 
same thing with spring post spawn stuff like that and in the summer which is coming right now uh it's been kind of tough because they're going deeper but i just take this uh zoom finesse worm wacky rig it on a slightly heavier weight uh fish structure on the bottom wood piles stuff like that in the rocks they'll they'll come eat this bait up so yeah uh this has been uh cal bassin um with jordan stay tuned for more